Once, there was a boy named Aman. He is a nine-year-old Malay student. One day, he was walking home from school with his best friends. As he reached home, his father walked slowly and hugged him. He told him that he will be transferred to a new office across the state. Being a single parent, Aman will have to move to the new place with him. As soon as Aman heard that. He was devastated as he couldn't believe he had to leave all his best friends and neighbors who supported him when he lost his mother. About a month later, Aman finally moved to the new place. It was in Kuching. Surprisingly, his father decided to transfer him to a Chinese school. As a Malay who grew up speaking Bahasa Malaysia, it was a cultural shock for him. On the first day of school. He realized most of the subjects are taught in Chinese. It felt so foreign, and most of his friends are speaking Mandarin. He felt left out as he couldn't get the jokes or even laugh with his friends. Most of his friends are also weak in Bahasa Malaysia, which caused Aman to have difficulty in communicating in his peers. As time goes by, Aman felt alone and depressed studying at that school. He started to hate going to school because he doesn't feel like he belonged there. As most of his friends don't speak Bahasa Malaysia, they started to avoid talking to him. He even tried skipping school by telling his father that he was sick. Aman was not the same person as he used to be. He used to be one of the top students in his class, and now he detests it so much that thinking of it makes him sick. As Aman's situation worsened, Miss Ling, Aman's class teacher, realized the issues. She had tried to help Aman in mastering his Chinese for the past few months with no avail. After conducting a house visit to Aman's home, she realized how Aman felt and decided to consult with the headmaster. After the discussion with the headmaster, they decided to organize a bulan bahasa for the school, where everyone in that school has to speak Bahasa Malaysia for the. Besides that, various Malay competitions will be held during that time. After a few days, Miss Ling managed to convince Aman to come back to school. As Aman returned to the school, he was greeted in Bahasa Melayu by the headmasters and his friends. He was shocked by the changes. Suddenly, he felt at peace and a sense of belonging. Miss Ling had also registered some competitions for Aman. As Aman was once a top student, he managed to win all the competitions with flying colors. All his classmates looked up to him as he brought a lot of trophies for the inter-class competitions. After the Bulan Bahasa, Aman had gained a lot of new friends. Due to the program, most of Aman's friends are more comfortable in using the language. Within a month, Aman had gained a lot of new friends. Under the care of his class teacher, Miss Ling, he felt belonged and liked the school even more. After a few months later, Aman became one of the most respected students in that school. As that marks the end of this story, I remember H. Jackson Brown Jr. once said. Happiness is not based on possession, power, or prestige, but with people you love and respect. I would like to thank Miss Ling for without her, I would not be who I am today, sharing this story. <laughs>